Well, smack him a gob, everybody. It is another donation from Jacob Smith now. It's a suck versus suck. I'm sure you like this, Jacob. And uh, keep liking it, bro. I hate bands, not fans. That's how I feel. And I also want to dedicate this video. I want to bring up uh, Mr. Tim Nelson, who wrote me. He did a track by track many months ago. If some of you've seen it, it was Ace versus uh, ACDC Power Age, and he got in a bad uh, accident. Somebody hit him while he was on his bike, and he had surgery. And then he had to have surgery again, and he just wrote me saying, he's getting so much better, almost back to normal, and his business is doing better than ever. And I'm so happy to hear that, uh, Tim. You know, it's just, that's awesome, bro. Uh, just hang in there, you're getting better, you're gonna be 100% in no time. And I got your back, and so does everybody that's watching this that is not a pickle whistler. They all think you rule. Like, I think you rule. So, right on, bro. All right. So, now let's get back to Jacob um, Smith. He wanted me to do Captain Beefheart, two of those albums. And, hey, man, if you like this, dude, it's cool. To me, man, this was a chore. It's definitely a suck versus suck. To me, not you and not all you Captain Beefheart fans. But, you know, all you Captain Beefheart fans that will watch this and that are cool with it, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the Pickle Whistlers. I don't care what you think. This shit sucks. That's how I feel. All right, let's go into this. Uh, it's uh, The albums are Doc at the Radar Station versus Ice Cream for Crow. All right, track one, Hothead. What is this? That's what I wrote. What, what, what the hell is this? And that's going against Ice Cream for Crow. Oh, boy. Ice Cream for Crow, just it loses on principle. Just principle. All right, next song, Ashtray Heart. What the hell is this voodoo? Seriously, is this witchcraft or something? And that's going against the host, the ghost, the most unholy -o. What? Anyway, this song, <laughs> it's it wins. You know, it's short. It's uh, it, it, it's just it, it, I. Look, it, it's less crappy. That's all I can say. Next. A carrot is as close as a rabbit gets to a diamond. This one is like a short instrumental that I don't mind. You know, it's kind of welcome. Make it short. And no, none of that rambling from this Captain Beefheart dude. If that's even his name. I don't, I don't even want to know. Um, and that goes against semi-multicolored Caucasian. And this one's another instrumental that, eh, it's not bad. I would even put it above that other instrumental, so that one wins. Next, Run, Paint, Run, Run. Not great, but not all over the place like these songs so far. Uh, against, Hey Garland, I Dig Your Tweed Coat. That's the name of the song, seriously. Hey Garland, I Dig Your Tweed Coat. And, uh... This one's all over the place. It loses. Next. Sue Egypt. Did a 10-year-old write this song? I mean, Jesus Christ. This is so... I don't know. It's terrible. Versus Evening Bell. Somewhat okay guitar playing. So it wins. All right, next. Brick Bats. Man, this rambling garbage really annoys me and that goes against cardboard cutout sundown this rambling garbage offends me even more or and annoys me wins i mean the the first one won uh brick bats all right next dirty blue green why is this even possible how is this even how i don't get it man really Whew. Versus the past sure is tense. Uh, this one is almost listenable. I'm just kidding, but it still wins. All right, next. Best batch yell. Best batch yell. Uh, this is like Primus bullshit. 
And I hate Primus. Going against Ink Mathematics. Did they just get some random people off the street saying, hey, can you play an instrument? And if they said no, all right, come here. I want you to play on this song then. Just, you know, here, here's a guitar, here's drums. And just, you know, just wing it. <sighs> Horrible. Um, I don't know what I gave it to. <laughs> Did I even give a score here? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I said best batch. Yao wins on that one. All right, next, telephone. You know, I'm listening to this, and I would just love to beat this guy over the head with a telephone. One of those big, rotary, old-school telephones. I'd like to beat him over the head with it. And that's going against The Witch Doctor I Like. This song just wants me to, like, slam the door on his face so I don't have to hear it no more. So that one wins. All right, next. Flavor Bud Living. A much welcome minute instrumental, let me tell you. Uh, against 81 Poo Patch. This is just spoken word gibberish. This guy's just talking, no music. Uh, I'm going to give it to that instrumental. Next, Sheriff of Hong Kong. You know, this is amateur hour. I hate it. I hate this. I'm, I'm really hating this. Against the thousandth of, a th of the tenth day of a human totem pole. I mean, look at these titles, man. I would say, you know, it's a tie, but I have to pick one, so I guess that wins. The, the, the blah, 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 blah totem pole wins. All right, finally, the last one. Yay! Uh, Sheriff of Hong Kong. Uh, no, I think I already did that. No, I didn't. Yeah, this, this is crap, too. Versus, no, uh, making love to a vampire with a monkey on my knee is the, is the name of this song. And it's more Primus garbage. It sounds like something Primus would do, you know. And, and, and the lyric says, fuck my ears. And I, I think that's what it's doing. I, I know that's what it's doing to me. It's fucking my ears. Uh, and that goes against Skeleton Makes Good. Uh, this fucked up my ears even worse. Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> uh, but I have to pick one, so let, let's give it to making love to a vampire with a monkey on my knee. So in the end, Doc at the radar station got one, two, three, four, five, and Ice Cream for Crow got one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go, uh, Jacob Smith. And uh, don't take offense to this. I know you don't. And, you know, there's probably like some ba Captain Beefheart fans that, you know, don't know me. And they're scrolling through YouTube and they go, oh, look, this guy is judging these two bad. Why did he put suck for suck? Let me go with this. Oh, what the hell, man? Why is he making fun of my avant-garde garbage? Hey, man, have a sense of humor. Have a Snickers and shove it up your ass. I don't care. You know? Hate on me. Hey, let me tell you something. If you have no haters, you're doing something wrong. Haters are very important. When a hater says to me, I don't like when you do this, I magnify it. Anyway, I want to say again, Tim Nelson, I'm so happy, brother, that you're doing better. And I can't wait till you're 100%, man. It's great to know that you're doing much better and your, uh, your business is booming. And uh, Jacob Smith, hey, they all can't be winners, man. I still love you, bro. And uh, thank you. Thank you for the donation. Even though I had to listen to this garbage, whatever, man. I don't have to listen to it ever again. So thank you, Jacob Smith. Thank you also, Tim Nelson. And thank you all for still watching. Even you haters out there, I love you. Come on, bring the hate. I don't give a fuck. It just makes you look stupid. And I like laughing at stupid people. So go ahead and let me have it so I can giggle at your ass. And if you like donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob. Captain Beefheart really sucks. Sure does. <laughs>